Let me show you a parabola. There. You see the focus of this parabola? That's f. Now the equation of this parabola is y square equals 8x. Now observe the focus. I'm going to draw a line AB. There. The line passes through the focus and is perpendicular to the x-axis. Now let me shade this region. There. This region is bounded by the parabola and the line AB. Now what we need to find is the area of this shaded region. Now this is the classic case of the area bounded by a curve and a line. But how do we do it? Observe the shaded region. You will see that it is symmetrical about the x-axis, right? So this means that the area of the shaded region equals twice the area of the shaded region above the x-axis. And we can find the area of the shaded region above the x-axis easily. The formula that we will use, there. Suppose we have a curve, y equals fx. You see that, right? Now the shaded area is given by this expression, integral from a to b of y dx. And what are a and b? They are the limits of integration. So let's use this formula in this case. The equation of the parabola, that's y square equals 8x. So what will be the coordinates of the focus? That's simple, 2 comma 0. So this means that in this case, a equals 0 and b equals 2. y squared we know is 8x. So what will be y? That will obviously be 2 into root 2x. So the area of the shaded region above the x-axis that is given by this expression, integral from 0 to 2 of 2 root 2 into root x dx. We can take 2 root 2 outside the integral sign. We do that. So what do we do now? We integrate there. Now let's plug in the upper and lower limits of integration. There. We now simplify. And what we get is 16 by 3. So this means that the complete shaded area. What is that? That is twice of 16 by 3. That is 32 by 3. So the area of the shaded region, that is 32 by 3 square units. So in this way, we can find the area under a curve when the limits along the x-axis are known. A pretty simple concept, no?